Yo, Payday LA, what's up? It's Mitchell James. We're live here at The Resident. It's a Tuesday fucking night. We got my dude Cello and Relo here. They just killed the stage. Yeah, so um, let's just start out just kind of telling the people who you are, what you're about, kind of just, you know, just give us a little bit about you guys and, you know, where you're from. Well, shit. I can make it quick for y'all. My name is uh, Cello Miles. Me and Rio from the Bay Area. Been doing this music shit for some time. And, you know, we just moved down here to the LA area, just trying to push it all the way through. And I feel like Rio can, you know, catch you up on some shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we've been making music together for years. Uh, this is like our second year, pretty much, like, putting out music. And, uh, you know, we're just expanding, you know, from the Bay to L.A. and all the way up to the Pacific Northwest and all this stuff. So, you know, uh, real 510-925 shit, you know what I mean? 415, shout out to the 415, shout out to SF. Um, but, yeah, we was out here. <laughs> 916 in the building, yeah. King Hazel. Yeah. King Hazel here, straight out from Sacramento. Just moved down here with the gang, and uh, we're, we're, we're applying pressure. So, y'all see us soon. Applying pressure. We fuck with that here at Pet LA. So, all right, let me just ask, um, why rap? Why hip-hop? Why is that the form that you, you know, the artistry that you chose? Why is that what you're using to spread your message? And, you know, what drew it to you? You know, drew you to it? Well, shit, I can speak for myself that... Rap, shit, rap raised me for real. Like I learned all my history about my culture. I learned about how to move in the society, how to shit, how to even apply yourself and just you know make money. How you, you feel me? Anything really? Rap is a way of life. It's like I couldn't be. I would see myself being a teacher, but I feel like rap is the best way to teach. Yeah, big shit. It was the best thing for me. Like rap is just a form of therapy for me. So it's like you know anything I'm kind of going through, I can put down on paper and. You know, I can add a melody to it and it sound good. So, you know, that's the one thing I do love about rap, like freedom of expression, you know, main thing. Yeah, 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 rap and R&B too. But, um, yeah, just what Rio said, mainly um, it's therapeutic. So, you know, it's, it's, it's medicine. So we're just putting out what we got, you know, to reflect on what we've heard growing up. Hip hop is medicine. I fuck with that. All right, so Bay Area, where where in the Bay Area? Where in the Bay? East Bay. All right. So people, let the Pay Day LA people know if they're rolling through East Bay, right? Where do they have to go eat? What's the number one spot? Number one eatery. If you're hungry in East Bay, where do you have to eat? Drop them. Give them some business. Plug the best. All right, all right. So if you're going to Berkeley, go to Gypsies. Get you some nice pasta. They got like calzones and all that shit. That shit's great. If you're in Oakland, I know this sounds weird, but Vegan Mob. Go to Vegan. Okay, yeah. And go to Vegan Mob off Lakeshore, off the Lakeshore. Okay, that's the real central Oakland right there. I'm an Oakland baby too, so it's like yeah. That's that. Those two, those two places for real. Honestly, that's the two I would I would refer to shit myself. Like Oakley, and, uh, Oakland and Berkeley got kind of like the better food out of the area, so that's that's the place to be at, for real. What about Sack Sound? As far as Sack, uh, go to Bacon and Butter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real breakfast dude, they they know. Um, but uh, yeah, Bacon and Butter. Fixes. Fixes too, Fixes too. Bacon and Butter, Vegan and Mob, and Gypsies. Yeah, yeah, shout out to those places. Let's get them some business. All right, so here at Payday, we like to celebrate a check, right? We're all about the Payday. So when y'all get your big payday, your big rap check, and it's sitting there in front of you, you're about to deposit, how are you going to spend that money? How are you going to spend your big rap payday, your big check? This is actually some shit we talk about for real. Because uh, the difference is, like, you know, we studied the game for real. We, we, we watched the interviews since he was 9, 10 years old, peeping, like, how to become your own CEO in a way. So first thing I'm doing, I'm diversifying my income, you feel me? I'm investing in all the stocks I've been trying to get into, all the crypto I'm trying to get into, you feel me? I'm finding a way to get my real estate license, diversify that shit, because in this game, bro, you only get so much money from streaming, because you don't even know what the fuck that is in the first place, bro. What the, well, how much money can you make from streaming in the first place? You got a tour, you got to do all the other things, you feel me? It's a business now, so that's how we coming. Yeah. Definitely investing in the performance space, like, you know what I mean, just for us to, you know, do more videos more visuals, uh, you know, studio equipment. That's my main thing in marketing, you know, marketing, because it's a big part of the game. So definitely those, and of course the crypto and all that stuff, you know, and then the good tech services and all that good stuff, so yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely what they got going on as well. But for me, definitely um, making sure my little sister get through school with no debts. You know what I'm saying? Um, going to school out in SF and also making sure my parents got no bills to worry about. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, no, nah, it's hard assets, visuals. And making sure your little sister gets through school, bro. I fuck with all that, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, so just let us know, last thing, kind of let us know where to find you at. Where, you know, if you got a special project coming up soon and where to find you on all streaming platforms and social medias. Give us all your handles. Give us all, the, all that good shit like that. Well, shit, we put out uh, two albums in the past year, and that's what's kind of brought us here, honestly. Um, the first album is called Vertigo 1, and the second one is Vertigo 2. It's the sequel. The, uh, the first one was recorded in Atlanta, so we took it serious. We went down there, soaked up the culture, tapped in with the people in the soil, you feel me? And in Vertigo 2, we, came, we brought that knowledge back home. We made it in our own spot. It's all, you feel me, under our roof. We, we mix and master, we engineer, and this man make the beats. So it's all a one-stop shop. And uh, you feel me, follow, up, follow me at Cello Miles. I'm going to pass the Rio West side and let him you feel, plug his shit. Gang, gang, I got a whole bunch of music on... Uh all your DSPs, so, you know, but definitely go check out Vertigo 1, Vertigo 2. Um, check me out on all socials at Rio underscore West Side, R-I-O underscore West Side. Um, pass this to Hazel. Yep, uh, the handle on IG and Twitter is underscore Zay on Tour. Um, we're pushing Vertigo 1 and 2. We just got down here to L.A. Videos coming, for real. V videos on the way, and... Um, you know, hit me for beats. You need anything, straight up. Hell yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys coming through. Payday LA, appreciate you guys. Thank you, Payday. Thank you, Payday LA. Payday. Resident, it's a Tuesday. These boys just killed their set. Shout out to Payday LA, and y'all stay safe.